so turning news, turning talk. What do we got this week? Well, I know that there was one of those god awful acronym tournaments. Guys, really, let's try to figure out a way to um, shorten the names. Like, let's go back to, like we said last week, the name, like, nipple. I'm cool with a tournament being called MPPL. Wait, see, rolls off the tongue. But when you got H, P, T, uh, L, O, N, O, P, I, I don't know. I really don't know sometimes. But we know we had uh, Niles from Cyclones last week, and he was telling us that they were going to their Div Four was going out to go play a tournament. Uh, we had that's what it was. Thank you, Lupe, with the save. We had the HTPS, and that was out over in Texas. And Niles sent us some pictures. And it looked like his D14 took first place, which was awesome. Loop at any other news that you've got from, yeah, I know, usable. I got to remember that one. Dennis, I'm telling you, man, some of these things are just straight tongue twisters. I don't get it, but I'll be right back again. Talk amongst yourselves. So there we go. Yes, let's get back to this turning talk. It's going to be a weird edit for me because it's going to be like, I got to cut and then put myself back in. So usable was another one. But I heard it was a really great tournament out there with the, again, HTPS. Seriously, nuts. Uh, Lupe, hey, I had a kids exhibition on lunch break. Haley coached one of the teams. And Devin Stewart from Houston coached the other team. Cool. You know, that was – we had Mark Gong not too long ago on, and he was talking about the kids, and he was talking about the Hermans, which is – you know, if you guys don't know that there's they're starting to build up more young gun teams, and that is truly our future. I mean, yes, there are a lot of great kids that are out there, young guys, young girls that are out there playing the sport that are trying to make a name, but I really like what they're trying to do now with these, some of these young guns teams. And I, I want to say they teach them the proper way to play and have good sportsmanship in the game compared to what we've been seeing. And I get it. People want to see that stuff because it's exciting. And uh, there's, you know, guys overshooting each other and, Sometimes they do at the end make up and everything, but then, I mean, what about those times that they don't? Do we really want to show the kids that this is what paintball is about? Or even those parents that are trying to, uh, or the, the kids that are trying to uh, get their parents into the sport, and yet this is what we show them. You know, we show them, yes, there's aggression, in it, yes, and all that other stuff. Um, so I, God, it's, tonight's not all, tonight's all, all bad guys. And we are professionals. Seriously. One of these days I'll be able to do this from home, no interruptions, actual studio, and we'll have like all kinds of cool stuff. But right now. We have me stuck at work, Dennis stuck at work, and, you know, something always coming up. But I am sending my link for our guest so we can bring him on. And again, you guys have to wait one second, and I will get back to you guys. And I got...
So guys, this episode might be a little bit longer so we can make up for this time that we are missing with you guys. So yeah, this is great times. So, what else we got? Lupe, yep. Uh, sweet, you're. So that's what's coming up. Also, yeah, we got. We got Cup coming up next month, so I'm really excited about that. I'm looking forward to actually being able to watch it. I'm not going to be able to be there, unfortunately. As much as I really want to, um, can't. I mean, if anything, I probably would have went out there and went to Disneyland, then went to World Cup, but it's because I love Disney. Someday, someday. So, I spent this whole time almost not even in front of the camera talking about much, and I don't really have too much for cup for upcoming tournaments. If you guys are out there, and you guys, um, yeah, I know, priorities. I hate that. But if you guys are out there, you guys got a tournament that you guys want to promote, that you want us to kind of follow, by all means, let us know. Hit us up. Tell us about the, the, the series that you guys have going on or whatever it may be. And we're more than happy, especially if it's local. Love to get out there. Love to help you guys promote. Love to help you guys promote the, the event also. So, um, you know. It would help us also during these tourney talk moments because we don't want to just talk about the the NXL that's you know coming up because it's like we got a lot to talk about right after the event and then all of a sudden we don't get much until the event starts stirring up again and then when the event happens and then after the event of course we have a lot to talk about. Plus, NXL season is going to be ending soon. Other little tournaments are going to be kicking up. Those series will be starting up. So we want to hear about those. We want to promote that. That's the whole point about us is to promote the sport. So let's see. Lupe, what you got? First cup, then universal. Cup first, then universal this time around. You know, I've been dying to go to universal, really, because I want to go to um, Harry Potter World. I am definitely Gryffindor, so yeah, I do like Harry Potter. But enough of this tourney talk. We're gonna go. And going to you guys looking at my face again because you know, come on, can't get enough of this. But really, talk to me, guys. This time I really do have to fill a lot of space and. I, I don't have too much going on. Wait till I see our cup shirts. So is that for the Lupe? Is that for the Destiny Kids team or for Destiny itself with their shirts? And how do I get myself a one of the cup shirts? Just throwing that out there. So yeah, things will settle down, guys, and then, you know, we'll get in, back into our normal routine. We had one where I was out at a soccer field because, again, priorities. Now you got me at work outside, and, and this time without Dennis, <laughs> completely without Dennis. Uh, oh, Lupa, that would be awesome. That is so cool. Looking forward to it. So, guys, if you guys are looking to start a podcast, I might as well throw this out right now. If you guys are looking to start a podcast, go live stream or whatever it may be that you want to do. StreamYard is definitely one that you, one uh, site that you want to use. Really easy. StreamYard.com. You go on there, set up accounts. They have a free account. They have two paid accounts. Obviously, as you go into the paid accounts, you get more features. And the basic account, you still can go on, but you don't have as much uh, room to play with. So 
if you guys want to, it's great because it also goes cross platform. So like us, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, and we're on Twitch all at the same time. On top of the great thing of uh, StreamYard is that you can, once you're done, download the video, download the audio, and you can do whatever you want with your audio and video and post it up wherever you want. So it's really awesome. And if you don't want to go live, you could actually just use it to record. So, I mean, how great is that? You get all these great features with StreamYard and, you know, this is what we use. It, it, it's made my life really easy when it came to do, doing all the live streaming and on top of the live stream, it, I was able to post some more videos and do a lot of stuff because it's easy and great cuts. So with that, we're going to take a short break because I already have our guests. I see him on, but we'll be bringing him in right now. So sit back and enjoy our little commercials. <laughs> 